poisonous animals have always attracted human attention. Most people know about the existence of poisonous snakes, fish, scorpions, and spiders. But many don't even suspect that poisonous mammals also exist. Today's video will tell you which seemingly harmless and cute animals you should avoid. If you ever decide to go to the mountain forest of East Africa and end up seeing an angry ball of fur on tiny paws sitting in a tree, don't be surprised. That's a maned rat. Maned rats are incredible animals in many ways. For example, the biologists studying these animals made an amazing discovery. Even though these rodents are considered to be loners, they are actually rather sociable and even friendly with their relatives. They even purr with pleasure when they see them around. These rats also aren't afraid of chewing on the bark of the poisonous tree Acocanthera skimperi, the poison of which is capable of knocking down an elephant. After the rats have chewed on the poisonous bark, they lick the fur on their back. Rat hairs have many cavities, which collect the poison saliva. When a predator attacks the maned rat, the rat turns its back to the attacker, allowing it to bite the rat's back. They have thick skin on their back specifically for this purpose. Thus, according to the scientist studies, the predator gets enough poison not only to stop it, but even to kill it. Biologist Sarah Weinstein, who studied these rodents during her internship at the Smithsonian Institute at the Mapala Research Center in Kenya, says that these rodents are arboreal and rarely descend to the ground. Although maned rats can run fast, they rarely flee from danger, preferring to stand still and grumble, growl and grunt at the potential threat. That's not really surprising, since they have toxic fur, which they immediately raise on end in case of danger, so there's nothing for them to be afraid of. How these rats manage to survive the tree poison is still an unsolved mystery, although there are many theories in this regard. For example, Sarah says that the stomach of this species has chambers that resemble the cows more than that of any other rats or rodents. The European mole is an insectivorous mammal, but it leads a very unusual underground lifestyle. This animal grows to lengths of 20 centimeters and a weight of 120 grams. It lives in almost all parts of Europe, in the European part of Russia, in the Urals, and in Western Siberia. The mole can live in almost any place with soft and moderately moist soil, where it can get its main food, earthworms. In addition to worms, the mole also eats other small animals, primarily various insects, snails, and spiders. Sometimes, European moles can even catch a frog or a mouse. The mole's saliva is poisonous. It has a paralyzing effect on the prey. Thus, with the help of its poisonous saliva, moles can create large reserves of immobilized prey in their underground passages. Most of the time, the moles store earthworms. There were cases where over 300 paralyzed earthworms were found in their burrows. Moles don't hibernate, so they need extensive food reserves to survive the winter. The poison of the European mole isn't dangerous for humans, although the mole bite is rather painful and they can also be carriers of various infectious diseases such as rabies and tularemia. The slow loris belongs to the order of primates. In fact, slow loris isn't just one species, but a whole genus of primates, which includes as many as eight different species. Their sizes vary greatly. While the smaller species, the Philippine slow loris, weighs only about 300 grams, the largest species, the Bengal slow loris, can weigh over 2 kilograms. All types of slow lorises are found in various parts of Southeast Asia and are nocturnal. Slow lorises are omnivorous, but they mainly feed on fruits, seeds, insects, and tree resin. Slow lorises produce poison and the glands that produce it are located in a rather unusual place, on their front limbs. Their saliva is also poisonous. Slow lorises mix venom from their forelimbs with saliva and can either smear this mixture over their coat to scare away potential predators and parasites, or keep it in their mouth to bite. 
Slow loris bites are very painful, and the bitten area gets very swollen. There have been cases of people dying from the bites of these animals. The platypus is a waterfowl for a number of reptile-like characteristics, including the laying of eggs during breeding. This unique animal is one of the symbols of Australia. The length of the platypus reaches up to 50 centimeters, and it weighs up to 2 kilograms. Platypuses live in the eastern part of Australia, along the shores of reservoirs. They dig holes up to 10 meters long as a refuge. They get their food from water. Their diet includes a variety of aquatic animals, including crustaceans, worms, and insect larvae. Male platypuses have horny spurs about one and a half centimeters long on their hind legs. Each of these spurs is associated with a special femoral gland, which produces venom. Moreover, the production of poison occurs only during the mating season, which lasts from August to November. Male platypuses use their spurs during mating fights with each other. A single prick with this spur is enough to kill an animal the size of an average dog, including the wild dingo, which is widespread in Australia. Platypus spur injections aren't usually fatal for humans, but they cause severe pain that can last from several days to several months. The American short-tailed shrews is a group of relatively large venomous shrews. The genus of the American short-tailed shrew includes four species. They all live in different parts of North America. They live in meadows, forests, orchards, and gardens. They reach up to 15 centimeters in length and can weigh about 30 grams. They are predominantly nocturnal. They feed mainly on a variety of animal foods, including insects, worms, frogs, lizards, mice, and even snakes. To hunt for large prey, these shrews use their poisonous saliva, which is produced by the submandibular salivary gland, the duct of which opens at the base of the first lower incisor. When the shrew bites its prey, the toxic saliva is injected into the victim's body through a groove formed by the two lower incisors. Small animals die almost immediately after being bitten, while relatively large animals, such as mice and snakes, are paralyzed by poisonous saliva, which allows the shrew to eat them. The bite of the American short-tailed shrew is not very dangerous for humans, but it causes severe pain that can last for several days. And that's all for today, friends. Which of these venomous mammals haven't you heard about before? And which one did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. Like the video, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.